Good afternoon. How are you today? Well, it's, uh, I don't know, it's in the 50s, but it feels warmer. And um, I have been walking, so <laughs> presumably that contributes to my warmth. The, uh, I don't know if you've ever done Ashtanga Yoga, but the theory of Ashtanga Yoga is that you heat up your body so that your body is supple. And there's lots of uh, jumping around in that kind of yoga. Uh, it's a younger person's yoga, unless you uh, continue to be as flexible as you were. But it's, uh, it really heats up the body. So, walking heats up the body, but not quite as much. Talking about heating up in uh, Loudoun, there are people voting. Uh, and they'll be able to vote through Election Day in my county in Virginia. And at uh, these voting places, there have been Republicans. And they're not like those in Arizona who are bothering people by sitting there with a gun on their hip and sunglasses on near the uh, boxes where people submit their absentee ballots. But what they have been doing is they have been objecting to people circulating literature outside the electioneering area that is not party material. That is to say, third party groups that might pass out literature for or against candidates in the election, they were trying to discourage that. Now, we may be able to mark this up to activists who have little or no experience with voting in Virginia, and we're watching it, obviously. But the uh, poll watchers on the scene on behalf of uh, the Democratic Party explain to them that as long as it's outside the area for where election, electioneering is forbidden, they can receive literature and review it and so forth, and there's, there's nothing you can say or do about it. So there's this tension. Uh, if it escalates, and we have watchers uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia, as we have in every election, I've done it myself. Uh, when I was the chair of the party, I went to every election district in Loudoun County where I was the chair uh, to encourage people to answer questions, to get them food and drink. But mostly people to take care of themselves. And, uh, but it's good for the spirit to see another face coming on. And if you work on election day, and I realize that the virus makes a difference for many of us, including myself, but if you do or can, uh, keep in mind that you're, you're gonna be cheering up people, talking to citizens who are voting, perhaps answering questions outside the electioneering area. So uh, it's, a, it's something to look forward to, and it's something that we have to join the issue on if we hope to make a difference and push those statistics to a different place than some think they are with the people who actually vote and the get out the vote drives that we'll be putting on. Uh, you may be uh, interested in reading uh, Prince Harry's new book, The Spare, meaning there's the heir and the spare. I have no interest in it and I won't read it. But there is a new book out about Ted Kennedy and I've already ordered it, and I hope to read a couple of chapters of it tonight. <laughs> That's my reward to myself. But as for uh, Harry, nope, not interested. Harry Houdini, and I have read several books about him, but not Prince Harry. Not my cup of tea. Uh, among the Republicans doing something that matters is Cheney. She went out and is endorsing a Democrat, Slotkin, and I think she's making an appearance for him next Tuesday. So you got a Republican, Cheney, appearing for a Democrat, and that's in Michigan. Um, there are some people who are excited about the movie, and I'll want to see it. Uh, Wakenda Forever. I think I'm saying it wrong, so I, apologies to those who really know how to say it. It's kind of a tribute to uh, Chadwick, who, who played the the prince, and this one is a, I don't know if it's a princess or a queen, but uh, it'll be an action movie, it should be a lot of fun, and it's a statement when you're having women as heroes, and we've been seeing more of that. The culture is ahead of the retrograde grade Republican Party that is wary and worried and feared of any person who is not lily white. And we have a, a whole spectrum of people out there. 
Uh, Jesse Jackson, whom I knew and was once his, <laughs> I was his co-chair of Virginia when he won the primary in Virginia in 88. And he called it a rainbow coalition. I agree, it is a rainbow coalition. We come from all sorts of, of diversity in terms of color, but also beliefs and uh, national origins and things we can do and illnesses we have. And that maybe the melting pot was never right because we don't melt, we keep our distinctions perhaps. But it is important that we get along. And the pictures that we occasionally see of multivariate origins of the people in the picture, that's the picture of America. That's what the Statue of Liberty is about. The, uh, our guy uh, uh, at Tesla, he's got a problem. He got a criminal investigation on him. And the criminal investigation is based on the fact that they said his cars in some ads, they said you, they drive themselves. You can just get in a car, it'll take you where you want to go. Well, that would be nice if true, but apparently it's not true. And they're investigating and thinking of prosecuting him for false advertising. Now, some of their operating manuals do say you got to have your hands on the wheel all the time. But some of their advertising said, no, you don't even have to touch the wheel. <laughs> get in the car, takes you where you want to go. I was thinking that I would hope somebody would come up with this as I get older and somebody tries to take me out of the car. I'm not there yet, and you know, uh, but you never know when it's gonna happen. And there's that, that sensation as you watch others get older that at some point, somebody says, oh no, you can't drive that, <laughs> that car anymore. Well, you just stopped me. So uh, I'm not in that position, but I see it and I'm fighting for the rights of everybody to ride, to, to, drive a car any way they can and I'm hoping that they will get a car that won't run into white station wagons or or whatever it is that fools the technology they're using so here I am on a nice chipper day and uh, there's a chill in the air but it's very pleasant and I'm in my of course <laughs> cathedral of trees the leaves are leaving but the trees are still here all the best bye bye